Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Mega Bloks review with the SS Motion. So today we're looking at the UNSC Booster Frame, which is item code CND02, is 277 pieces and currently retails about 20 to 25 pounds. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the figure and then move on to the vehicle. And as always now, I am joined by Jonathan, who's helping me review this product. Hey guys, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're, we're going to start with this figure. And uh, let's talk through this guy a little bit. This is Frederick 104. Now, um, my Halo lore isn't as good as Jonathan's. I know that this guy, this guy's featured in quite a few things. He's a fan favourite for a kind of strange reason, really. Isn't yeah, he? he's like the Boba Fett of uh, Halo. Like, he's not really been in that much, but he's become such a popular character mm. that he's now been expanded. So this guy's a Spartan 2 from... Uh, well, Master Chief's team. Yeah. Um, and he was in a few of the books, Ghost of Onyx in particular, fan favourite there. Mm. And uh, this guy uses uh, Centurion-based armour. So this is a new armour scope, never seen it before. Yeah, it's got like a, like a rebreather kind of look to yeah. the helmet. It looks like, like yeah. extra oxygen supply. Yeah, sort of for out of space combat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a brand new mould. Uh, everything about it is complete new mould for this figure, which is fantastic to yeah. see. Mega Bloks have really put a lot of effort into this. And... Um, I think it was mostly made popular from this set, uh, which is the booster frame, which for Halo Legends, the package, oh, yeah, which well, was uh, an anime series, which was very popular. Yeah, well, you had this guy, like I say, in the books, and then that series came along with that episode, and people kind of went crazy for this guy. Yeah, he's yeah. also uh, been featured, as you informed me uh, recently, in Halo Ford Into Dawn series. Yes, yes. Which I'd not, I forgot about that. He's but, yeah. one of the Spartans that picks up John in the Pelican at the end. Mm. Uh, you see him take off his helmet. Um, so yeah, it, but obviously that's not this armor. Um, no, you know there are different updated, I yeah. guess. And he's also now started featuring in the new Halo comics, and uh, he made an appearance in was it Forty Eight Hours Later? Uh, yeah, in yeah. the Escalation Halo Escalation comic arc, mm. he appears on um, a team mission hunting. Uh, well, we can't spoil it, but yeah. hunting someone very mysterious. <laughs> yeah, fair <laughs> enough. So basically, we're going to talk about this figure for a second. Uh, most people have been talking about this. Is new articulation, by the way, new armor system, which is fantastic to see. It's nice that all Spartans have been fully integrated with this new armor system, and it looks awesome. So this is basically we've we've had a few people complain that uh, new the new articulation figures do not have washes. I think it's mostly due due to budgeting from mega brands. If they're spending all this money on the new articulation, they can't um, yeah pay for it, washes as much. Yeah, I mean. You know, these figures, if you got the, like, sealed individual packets, the, like, £2 to $3 yeah. kind of thing, you know, for that price, you're probably getting the removable armor instead of the wash. Yes. So you can't have it both ways. To be honest, I think this removable armor, I've said it before, is a fantastic upgrade from the old armor. Looks amazing, and to be honest, I, I much prefer it. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've not really switched much of the armor out, but in having it removable... It seems to create a better proportion yeah, for the it figures. Does, they it look does. so much more, more bulky intense. and yeah. yeah, it's more like a Spartan. Yeah. Um, so this figure is actually fantastic. Um, the main attention to detail is this printing. He's got printed work running all along his helmet here and on his chest. It has 104, which is his Spartan number, which is very nice. Yeah. Uh, very nice to have. And uh, he's got a brand new chest plate uh, with this really cool little spinal column that you noticed. Uh, yeah, before. I love that little piece. It just like, you know, protects that vital area for a Spartan. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty cool. He's also got these knives, sadly not removable. But then again, when we were talking before, if you had these removable, they wouldn't fit in the hands. If you made them bigger, they would look ridiculous yeah. on the shoulders. Well, if you look at the combat knives for the Call of Duty sets, they're, yeah. they're quite big. So if yeah, you or the Kukri for uh, yeah. a meal, it wouldn't fit properly. If you tried to fit that into a shoulder piece for this guy, it'd just look stupid. No, so I think it's fine that they don't remove. You can always equip it with some Kukri knives from the Mongoose set. Pretty cheap alternative. And at the end of the day, you're probably going to have this guy on the booster frame. Yeah. So you don't yeah. need the knives you don't out. Need the knives, you know? <laughs> why, why would you? So yeah, this guy is absolutely fantastic. Just this standard sort of steel metallic colour. Um, he's got a black undercoat. Um, all of the chest and shoulders and the leg pieces here are all removable and makes for a, for a great figure, really, with this nice uh, sleek gold visor as well. So one of my personal favourite figures at the minute. Um, we had some complaints coming in from fans that the uh, paint application wasn't that good on the printed detail. Yeah, they were But a bit uh, dodgy. this one's pretty fantastic. <laughs> uh, really good. The 104 is not symmetrical on each side. 
but that's just nitpicking. yeah. It's, it's not the worst thing. Uh, some have had like really bad paint splotches over the helmet. Yeah. You know, so just a little misplaced decal. It's not a problem. Yeah. The figure also comes with the Spartan laser. Now, I think it's great that they included the Spartan laser. It means their research is spot on because he uses the Spartan laser in the anime series. So it's really good to see that he actually has it. It's got a lot of detail. It's got the nice grey undercoat with this green application on top, a red stripe there, and silver detailing on that clip there. So a load of paint application, really nice detailing. Yeah, it's a brilliant one. I mean, I think it's probably my favourite Spartan laser paint mm. job. It's really nicely done. Okay, so let's talk about the booster frame. Now, the first note, obviously, this has already been released. Uh, way back a couple of years ago, Megablox released a previous booster frame. It was kind of quite shortly after the uh, Halo Legends series. It wasn't that far after, um, maybe a year or so. It must have been just after Halo 4 because it came with a Halo 4 medic. I did, didn't yeah, it? So, so it must be quite kind yeah. of recent. Like, yeah, kind of recent. Uh, a couple of years ago. So basically they released um, three different sets. Uh, one with a Forerunner uh, Promethean uh, crawler in it. One with a Medic. And one with a metallic EVA in sort of a tealy colour. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they were all very nice figures. And they released uh, three little sort of display pieces. A CNC console, four and a terminal and a UNSC armour piece. And they all combined to make the booster frame. Uh, there's already a review on the channel about that. I have commented on the past. We'll bring it into shop for a second here. Here is the old booster frame. Now, <laughs> it doesn't look as good in comparison, does it? Uh, it looks like it's a little brother. It's, yeah. it's uh, really small. Now, I complained in the past about a couple of things to do with this. Mainly the fact that I felt like it was just a slap together using the pieces from the, uh, the console and stuff. Uh, considering Halo Legends, the package was one of my favourite things. I felt like this never completely did the uh, series justice. Yeah, no. It's Especially just... the colour applications seemed a bit off. Um... It just it seems really weedy and yeah. it doesn't really suggest that it's got any power behind it or anything. Yeah, it was nice, but it was nice to have, but it wasn't what we needed. Now, thankfully, the Megablox gods granted us with an upgrade, which as you can see just there is her massive upgrade indeed. We completely, they completely flipped it around and made it well, I mean, pretty well, much ideal. Look at that straight away. I mean, the original can fit under the wing. Yeah, yeah. The new one. Yeah, so. I mean, even if you just look about the bulking out of it, that is just one. That is just a couple of pieces. That is a full uh, sort of. Uh, run down there. It just look. It just looks so much more bulky and so much more perfected, and the colours are spot on as well. Yeah. So uh, we might go back to that in a minute, uh, especially to do with the uh, uh, stand. But let's just talk about this booster frame for a minute, Jonathan. What do you want to uh, say about it? Well, for a start, you can see that this thing is just full of detail. I mean, it is quite a small build in like you know compared to like the Pelican or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But there's so much crammed into it. You've got the uh, massive posable turrets. They can move up and down. Yeah. They can rotate. Let's have a look. You know, at they're, they're brilliant. So yeah. you can have them, you know, aiming down at targets or yeah, anything. So they have a lot of articulation. Yeah, and these brilliant. turrets actually rotate you know, around inside. And they didn't have to do that. They could again. They could have just, you know, left them as stationary. Compared turrets. to that, just a stationary yeah. turret there. Yeah. You know, um, they've got then, the remolded turret pieces as well, which are very nice. Yes. Yeah, they're brilliant. And then for the, uh, the one of my favourite bits is the actual uh, control section with yeah. the handlebars. You know, you've got this nice posable seat here that he can clip onto. Um, it's kind of hard to get him in position. Yeah, I'll try. Um, the piece comes off quite easily, so. So this is actually kind of a spinal column here. Yeah, I didn't think that that was in the uh, series. I thought that was just a mega creation to keep him in place because it plugs into his back. Yeah. But upon watching the series, it is actually there. Yeah. So I presume it's meant to be like some sort of link to the ship so they can like have a heads up display. Uh, yeah, something like that. But it's, it's a brilliant that Mega noticed that because I've watched that episode tons and I've not seen it. But yeah. Mega did. So, hats so off that's to Mega. really nice. It's got a lot of articulation so the Spartan can still move about on the frame with it still being attached in. It's still got this little display piece here. It could have uh, maybe had a little sticker to uh, have a little display. Yeah, a little maybe. control panel would have been nice. But, but still very nice yeah. indeed. I mean, most of it comes up on the hood display anyway. Yeah, that's so. what I imagine. So, you know, I think that's just a handlebar for steering. Yeah. Um, but then you've got these massive booster rockets at the bottom yeah, of the huge, ship. Yeah, huge. Very big. Very bulky. Uh, my only issue here is that underneath, uh, the landing gear is kind of non-existent. It just has to balance on this one yeah. tiny piece. That's one slight problem um, that it is one piece. I mean, uh, I get that that's the design, so it's not really... But it still fault, does but, wobble yeah, out. It's hard to keep, keep it balanced. Yeah. 
Um, but but, it's only a minor thing. Yeah, it's a minor thing. It's a great build otherwise. We'll talk about the wings for a second if you want. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So here we've got the thrust pods. Now these rotate round. Um, so in the series, they rotate downwards so it can hover when yeah. they're in the Covenant hangars. Or, or uh, back on itself yeah. so they can emergency which, stop. Yeah. You know, it's great that they incorporated that. Then you've got the white missile pods running down the wings, which are brilliant. Yeah, yeah very you know, good. They look really good. And the wings do move up and down. Um, now, that's a funny thing, isn't it? We yeah, were talking about this before. I've, they don't seem to do it in the series or the comics. Mm. So I think that's more of just a design thing on Mega's part. Mm. Um, they are meant to stay at like a diagonal um angle i think that might just be more for kids playability maybe. yeah yeah now what's great though as well is uh mega give you an alternate build option for this and you can remove this whole missile section mm. and have the wings retracted yeah um it is hard to do once you plug them in though so it's oh, well, like, we'll show that in yeah a we'll have to unplug it in a sec to show you but it's quite a hard thing to do they're really solid which i guess is good in one way because the wings don't fall off yeah um, but yeah, it's a little bit solid. Now, we'll talk in part for sticker detail for a second. Um, as you know, in the past, I don't like stickers. They bubble and peel. But in this situation, this is one of the examples where stickers are uh, the only option, really, because they run over so many pieces. Yeah. A sticker is the only thing. They can't print on different pieces. It would look re very weird. Uh, they managed it with the flame hog. I hope they do it again. Yeah, but the flame hog's <laughs> a little different because yeah. these pieces are, are used. To, oh, yeah. I, I, I do don't, admit I don't it feel like hard. it would be that, um, that much of an option. But these stickers as well are kind of selective to fred yeah. because they've got his spartan number on so if you like don't want a fred booster frame you can just remove yeah the don't put the 104s on yeah it's pretty <laughs> nice that it's natural shout to his exact booster yeah, frame yeah, because it's brilliant got the, uh, they could have just left it got off the sticker detailing on and uh overall it's a fantastic build it's got a lovely amount of a uh, Colour coordination, really. It's got this nice, sleek uh, silver running all the way through, which is really nice, with bold black uh, underlaying tones on it. It's got nice colours that stand out with these white missile pods, these red sections on the uh, the big boosters at the back, on the yeah, little, little turrets. Yeah, sights are pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, they're, are they meant to be laser? I yeah, they're 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 probably, yeah, like little are, targeting yeah. sight things. Oh, yeah. Really neat. Uh, the build itself is quite bulky, isn't it? It's quite heavy. It's yeah, a, yeah, there's, there's a, a lot nice of weight in that indeed. back bit. Uh, it's like very top uh, back heavy. Yeah, but on th honestly, this is exactly what we needed for the booster frame. When you do compare to the previous model, even with the the missile pods on the sides, these are just a basic silver pieces. Even though they are the same pieces, they just look so much better running along this rail clipped on. Yeah, don't they? and they're accurately accurately spaced out on this mm. one. They're not. They're all like clustered in yeah, this one. Clustered. Yeah, um, that's a good word for it's it. It's quite horrible. Whereas yeah. they're they're spaced out as they should be. Yeah, and you feel that. These massive boosters could really get some power going. The, these tiny little things don't really feel yeah, as appropriate. Fun, so that was good. Um, so the whole thing, the whole build is fantastic in my eyes. Really nice. Uh, looks stunning as well. And it's exactly what we needed from the yeah, booster frame. Yeah, it, it's, it's such a good improvement. And I think this is the definitive one now. Yeah, fantastic indeed. So here we have, just to show you guys uh, what it looks folded up. Uh, I've never seen it before. I don't really like how it looks, to be honest. But it is nice um, because it is uh, accurate to the film. Yeah, because this is like how they sit in the hangar bay of like a UNSC ship. Yeah, they, and then as they dropped out of the hangar, then the wings extend out. Extend out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's great that they added that. It does look kind of like kind of silly stubby now. Yeah. Um, so I'm definitely a fan of these uh, wing pieces. They're uh, mm. much better um to have but you know it's great that mega gave us the chance to uh, display it like that yeah it is um if we want to mention it and this might be an idea for those modders out there it's a little bit of a shame that there is no turret present on the yes. back yes yeah the other you know i thought that was the darkiest bit of the uh, episode yeah because i was like what they fit a whole warhog turret in the back of this <laughs> like, um but yeah i mean i'm sure some people probably want it on the um, we'd love to see the customs, you yeah. know, if, if you want to do it yourself. Absolutely. Right? Um, I guess, yeah, for accuracy's sense, though, it is kind of bad that it's not there, but... But it is still... It's uh, still a great build. Very good indeed. Now, we will comment uh, slightly as well on something that we do have quite a bit of an issue in. There is no display stand. Yeah. Now, I would have paid an extra £10 for a display stand. I would have had yeah, no quells on that. Um, if you can see with the original <laughs> booster frame... It actually came with this display stand made up of three big pieces and this nice little piece. It inserted nicely on, stayed in position. And not only that, 
it had a lovely display because it was on its side, and that's yeah. exactly how a booster frame would be going along. Yeah, the banking so, is really cool. Yeah, of very effect. nice. Um, so you could even rotate the wings accurately to display that kind of banking, like it was about to do a roll, and it just looks fantastic. It really does. So it is a big shame that they missed out on the display stand. It's something that you could easily make, but not if you are lacking in the translucent piece department. So I mean, it's a bit odd though yeah. as well because all the banshees have come with display stands. Yeah, everything. The everything. Aerial, sword, really. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that hasn't is the pelican. And that's just quite huge. Yeah, you couldn't. But even that still has those little clear bits on it to oh, yeah, indicate that's true. it hovering. So it's a shame that they really just missed mm. any sort of hovering display stand here. So, overall, we do have an incredibly nice-looking set. It is sleek, it is bulky, and it is well-designed. It has a fantastic figure, one of my favourite this year, and it screams value for money. At only £20, or about $30, it is very good. Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, you could easily build a fleet of these very mm. cheaply, and it would look amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be buying a few of them uh, to make get, maybe get my mate David Stockbridge or uh, Scott McKee to uh, start designing and customising some uh, full teams for this set, uh, because it would be awesome to have Chief's full team with him yeah, uh, on these booster frames. I'd need some more display space, but whatever. I'll or find if you it wanted, somewhere. You could always go the Halo 4 route, get Palmer in there. Uh, yeah, I could do. <laughs> I could do indeed. So, yeah, this uh, is a fantastic set. Very good value for money. Incredible detail. Very nice sticker application. Very nice uh, paint application on the printing on his uh, helmet and chest. And overall, an incredibly good set. Yep. So yeah, this was a, another Halo Mega Bloks review with the SS Motion. I thank Jonathan for joining me again today. Please check back for another video soon. We're doing loads of new reviews and they're all coming out pretty quickly after each other. And yeah, please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. And we'll see you next video.